there's been like this this kind of fascinating economic hump and and repeating hump where it's people being afraid about there being a shortage therefore changing their plans versus people who had a big enough warehouse to see something coming and buy enough ahead of time mm -hmm. they do that it affects this person over here so then they can't get what they need and so like it's going to be years before we stop feeling the effects of, yeah. of it's like toilet paper yeah exactly where like the, like nothing bad is currently happening well, not saying this is now this is hypothetical future nothing bad is currently happening and for some reason you know you can't buy toothbrushes or whatever mm -hmm. um, right. and like a super fantastic example is uh we are still feeling the effects of the uh recession of 2008 because there's a Christmas tree shortage because it takes about 10 to 12 years to grow a Christmas tree. And in 2008, it was the wrong year to be in the Christmas tree business. Well, I, I, they just had a planet money uh, episode on this, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, yeah they did. that was a really good episode. It was so interesting about the Christmas trees. Highly recommended. Yeah. Why, when I so a Christmas tree last year, because we are, all of your Christmas trees come from here. By the way. <laughs> no, they um, don't. They come from here. They come from Pennsylvania. Uh, the, <laughs> <laughs> um, there's actually uh there are many uh many farms directly outside of pittsburgh were started using trees from oregon which is also a farm. oh that's cool that's cool to know uh, i know uh my my wife's family has like they ended up moving down the road from the original christmas tree farm that created the christmas tree farm that they used to buy christmas trees from as a kid um in ohio it's weird um, but we went to buy a tree last year and we, and they didn't have any at like the local nursery. And, uh, and they're like, yeah, it's a crazy thing. We're feeling the 10 wave effect of, um, all the farmers sold all their goods in 2008. Like they needed to get out because it was the wrong business to be in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It'll be interesting to see. I mean, I'm I curious to see what other businesses we're going to see that effect because there's a lot yeah. of businesses that are the bad business to be in right now with what's going on. And yes. uh, they'll, they'll, I mean, restaurants to start with. Uh, so, you know, be interested to see what happens.